Hello and welcome to Let's Talk SEO. So recently, um, OpenAI added a few new features to their paid version of ChatGPT. And in doing so, they have made it more powerful, but it's up to you to now be able to customize the way your chat, your version of GPT works. Now, a lot of people are putting out misinformation out there. I have seen videos where people just put in a bunch of prompts and say that you can now ask it to do SEO task, and it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Your custom GPT needs to be taught based on data sets. And so any of that stuff that you see where people are just putting in prompts and saying you're customizing GPT, that is not how it works. If you read the documentation as I have, and it's taken me two days to do that, and also watch um, the announcement where they've talked about the capabilities and the APIs and stuff like that, it goes into a lot of technical stuff, then you would know that this is not how customizing your GPT works. And now I'm not going to go into a lot of complexity because most of the people watching my videos don't want to, are not technical people. And I'm not a very technical person. Um, and so if I put in the time to figure out how to customize my GPT for SEO, I'm um, sorry. So there's a lot of scope in uh, how you customize your GPT, uh, with what kind of data you customize your GPT with, and you can provide it with a lot of custom data, or data if you have your own library, or you can pull it up, pull it out of websites, or uh, you can even scrape websites. Now, I'm not going to go into any of that. I'm going to go into how to simply customize your chat GPT to provide you with good SEO information. And in the next few videos, I'm also going to go into more technical aspects of setting up chat GPT, do various and other aspects of SEO. So it's not just spitting out regurgitated, uh, templated answers that the regular GPT does. And embarrassingly, in some of these videos where they claim that the GPT is providing great information, it's actually just providing templated information that you can get from chat GPT 3.5. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so this is the paid version of ChatGPT. And before I get into this, I just want to say that you need to have the paid version, but I'm going to make this as easy and simple as possible. I know this is a new feature. I know these are new things. And so I'm going to walk through this very slowly. So if you're new to customizing GPT, follow through um, because you, after this video, you'll be able to customize your own GPT, regardless of whether you do SEO or whether you're a writer or whether you provide alt services, or even if you do something else entirely, or for instance, if you're a stock trader. So you might find that customizing your GPT uh, is a lot easier once you know what you're doing and what these um, boxes mean within GPT. So I'm going to start by going on the left here to explore. It's going to open up this menu over here. And this is one of the GPTs I've created. I'm going to go into that right now. I'm going to create, I'm going to click here, create a GPT. So when I click here, it, there are two options. So the first option is I can create a GPT using props. So that's easy, but it's not very customizable and it's not very accurate. Um, if doing this is going to also take a lot of time. Um, and the end result isn't great. And so a lot of people on YouTube mainly you just talk about doing it this way, which is okay, but you're not going to see great results. Uh, what you want to do is I want to hit configure right over here on the top, and you want to look at the field. So the first field here is name. So this is a name that you're going to give your GPT. This it is an ad identifying name. Um, in my case, I'm going to use I'm going to say SEO writer, SEO evaluator. Okay, so this is the name of our GPT, the description. Description can be something very brief. It just mainly describes what it does. It's, uh, it's not going to be used as a prompt. It's going to be used by you so that you understand what your GPT does. You probably have created quite a few. So this will help you understand what it does. So description. Uh, Okay, so I'll, I'll just leave it very brief for this example. Um, the next one is instructions. Now, this is the main part of your entire creation process. Um, and you need to be very precise with your instructions. 
because this is where you're telling GPT what to do uh, in order to create it. Um, and so in my case, I wanted to evaluate SEO on page factors. Yeah. So mainly I wanted to evaluate factors like eat. Um, I can also ask it to evaluate factors like eat, like YMYL, um, also evaluate internal links. But the problem with that is if you go, if you, if you add too much to it, it does, it just does not do as well. And I found that out the hard way after working hours on a prompt and just that doesn't do it the right way. So I just want to focus on eat and I'll create a separate one later on and probably I'll make a video about it if there is enough demand for it um, that will do um, on-page optimization um, using uh, based on Google's own guidelines. But it's going to be based on what I'm showing you right now. Um, and so this is how you'll do it. You'll change the prompt uh, to do anything else that you want it to do but you have to provide it with good data because if your data is not good, then it will not work as well for you. So here's a quick, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, provide you with the latest information regarding it. I'm going to change the name to SEO, it, Valerie. Okay. I'm going to the latest information providing it, they sneeze and important and SEO vector. I need you to read the URLs I provide below and the file I've attached to evaluate eight of URLs to evaluate eight. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick up Google's documentation. So this is Google's documentation on it. It says creating helpful content. This is important. I'm going to go here and I'm going to paste this. I'm going to say, here are the, here are the URLs that really is information. This is a list of URLs. So the next one is once one is helpful content, the other is our latest guidelines, our, our latest update to the quality radio guidelines, which is it. We provided with this. We also provided with an article from the SCM Rush blog, which is just also pretty done a pretty good job of laying this out. So I'm going to provide this over here. And in addition, I'm also going to type Google, Google Eat documentation. And so what I'm going to do here is also upload Google's quality raters guidelines that I have here. And the reason why I want to do that is because this is the document that, that Google's manual quality raters use to identify content and to evaluate it uh, for quality. And so each time uh, I use, each time I ask Google, I, each time I asked ChatGPT to look at a document, I wanted to consider this PDF. Also, sometimes ChatGPT has a tough time crawling these URLs. And so, it, ideally, what I would want to also do is to turn these documents over here, these URLs, into PDFs um, and upload that to my GPT. So, anyway, so I'm done here. Um, and I have also enable all of these clicks. Um, there's an additional setting, but this is more advanced, so you don't need to do a lot here. There's also a create actions over here, which is also advanced, and that's not for us right now. I'll maybe get into this into a later video. You can add an identifying photo, so it'll probably use tell E, um, and it'll just auto-create a AI-generated image that will help us identify that this is our, this is the one that we created and it helps us stand, helps us stand out from other GPTs that we've created, um, which I have created quite a few. So once this is done, I will go ahead and run the prop. Also, what you want to do is when you hit save. So save, or for now, I'll do only me and I'll click confirm. So this means that only I can use it, but you can also share it with the public. Um, 
and in which case you can provide a link. And so now this is ready, this is ready to go. And now it's going to go ahead and evaluate the heat on the page based on the information we provided. I'm also going to contrast and compare the information it provides me with this custom GPT with if I were just to use regular chat GPT 4.0, uh, even though this is the paid version too. I'm going to pause the video and come right back. Okay, so it says that overall this is good. This is a completed output. Now what I want to ask it to do, how can we improve aid on this page? And I'll give it the URL again. I'll pause the video and come right back once this is done. Okay, so it says uh, enhance author credentials now. If you look at this, she has no credentials on the page over here. No credentials. It also says increase auto visibility, provide more in-depth content, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of information it provides. A lot of this is very custom information. If I were to use a regular GPT, um, and this is also the paid version, I'll go here, I'll click this, and I'll ask it the same question. So as you can see, it's not a very detailed analysis. It just provides three points. And now I'm going to ask it to, to help us improve it. Hit enter. And let's see, this is the moment of truth. So this is a more general thing, but it has also picked up on the fact that um, there's not a lot, yeah. And this also has picked up on the fact that this is a, uh, the other bio is not complete, but also put in a lot of general stuff like this, engagement with audience, encouraging and responding to comments and questions, really general stuff, SEO optimization, you know, it says properly optimizing the page for search engines with following keywords, um, improving website design and usability. So it's, it's given us like a whole checklist that has been recurgitated from someplace else. Uh, it's not it's not specific it says interactive ed elements adding interactive elements like comparison tools videos again general information because if you look at the page um they've already got photos they've already got a lot of the information um that it's just saying it should provide and, and really it has nothing to do with eat because it's not part of the of the rate of guidelines user reviews and testimonials yeah again i mean this is a review site so i don't see how there will be reviews and testimonials on this page. So customizing so customizing ChatGPT can be uh, immensely beneficial regardless of you know what type of SEO you're doing. So there you have folks, this is a quick and easy way to customize your GPT. Uh, if you found this video useful, like and subscribe. If you have a question, leave it in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you uh, and I'll see you in the next video.